Thanks for tuning in to Real TV After Show. I'm Jalen Johnson. And I'm Sarah Kynard. With all the daily news in our show, we rarely get to show the fun segments and moments behind the scenes at Real TV. The After Show is where we can showcase bloopers, challenges, vlogs, and other videos. First up is another Real Review by Real TV. This year's new movie, Last Christmas, came out in theaters on November 8th. Here's reporting movie guru Sam Condor with the recap of the movie. Hey, Elf! <clears throat> this is my little helper. I have nicknamed her Lazy the Elf because she appears never to work. Father, Daddy, Christmas, get me out of here. It is that time of year once again. Move over Thanksgiving. It is Christmas time. It's the holiday season, the most wonderful time of year. The hap happiest season of all. <laughs> Sorry, phone call. Mm hmm Yeah, this is him. What do you mean I can't skip Thanksgiving? But I already saw the movie. Yeah, it's non-refundable. I already used the budget on this one. Yes, all of the budget. So we're good. Good but reluctantly? I mean, that's good enough for me. Yeah, I know. I, I know I owe you one. All right. Bye. Move over Thanksgiving. Today we'll be taking a look at Last Christmas. Kate, the main character, is a young woman subscribed to bad decisions like meaningless relationships, drinking too much, almost becoming homeless, and what may seem like the most disastrous, working as Santa's elf in a year-round Christmas store. However, Destiny has other plans as this is where she meets Tom and her life takes a bit of a twist. She almost misses this opportunity, but as fate would have it, she runs into him again. Quite literally, his goodness seems too much to Kate. She's gotten quite comfortable with the negative. You've missed five doctor's appointments. Mum is scared. So, uh, tell me about the sleep. Uh, she never sleeps. Exercise? Really just Not sleep. at all. Alcohol? Oh, oh she's drinking while. like the pirate. Oh, OK, fine. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go, Mum. Last Christmas was quite the holiday surprise. I went into theatre expecting your run-of-the-mill rom-com, but it wasn't. It was actually quite dense and had a message that I could genuinely agree with, but before that is the acting. Admittedly, the reason I picked this movie over the others that released on November 8th, Midway, Doctor Sleep, and Playing With Fire, to just name a few, is because of Amelia Clark. I like her both as a person and an actor, and she did not disappoint. She portrayed her role quite well. Her look also changed depending on which point she was in the movie, reflecting her state of mind, which I felt was a nice touch as well. However, the best part was her chemistry with Henry Golding, who played Tom who surprisingly was my favorite character, over Amelia Clark, which kind of shocked me. He's this incredibly upbeat, positive, and wistful character that I can't help but like. He gives off this energy that makes me wish I could be as upbeat as him and have the effect that Deed has on me. Whoa! You, again. I'm Tom. Did you follow me here? Are elves always so cynical? Relentlessly, these are dark times. Did you come with me, then? The before-mentioned message is kind of the plot itself, that being self-improvement out of a dark place, something that I have experienced myself and I'm sure many of you have as well. This is what brings it above other rom-coms for me. It's this really interesting journey of Kate and her interactions with her friends and family and seeing her improve over time and come back to herself. And to be honest, the romance was quite sweet as well. Other positives include surprisingly good cinematography and pretty good soundtrack as well, especially if you're a George Michael fan. The movie is also really funny, not corny funny, but genuinely good humor from cast members all around. Though this movie isn't perfect and, well, no movie is, there were a few things that didn't sit well with me. Certain things were added to the story that didn't really make sense and in ways I think they actually subtracted from the movie. Dialogue is another small issue as at times it can be a little shaky and awkward. Mom? No call, no Twitter. Yeah, okay, I you know, I know. Phone. Oh, you can't phone, you can ring me. I worry about you. All right, let's wrap this up. Last Christmas overall was a pretty enjoyable viewing experience. Great cast, great soundtrack, and a great message. One that you should take to heart because you don't always get a second chance and you should make every moment count. My name's Samuel Kander and this has been Last Christmas. If you enjoyed Kiki's vlogs on The Last After Show, she's experimented with a trend that lots of YouTubers have tried. Here's Kiki and Shamar with her latest vlog. So this is our first edition of ASMR with Real TV, featuring Shamar Winston and the Kia Goodman. Okay, ready? You know, I got the spring rolls. Well, these are Olympias. I don't know why they call them spring rolls. Mm -hmm. But this right here, Sting hit. Bless you.
ahead. I want to pick it up. Go ahead. I want to suck on the desk. You hear the sensation. It's good. <laughs> the sound, yo. Oh, no. Hi, hmm. Abby. So delicious. Yeah, the whiskey. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're about to punish. I really am about to punish, though. Mm. Sweet potatoes, mom. School been playing around this year, I'm telling you. They good? Mm hmm. Mm. Sensational. Mm. 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 Bus is the word for it. Bus. Delicious song. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm, that ain't good. Mm. It's all right. Stratford, y'all food. Kinda good. Can't talk bad about my school. I wouldn't go no to no other school. Like, I don't know, I just I just yeah, feel like I've been at Stratford for too long. Mm -hmm. Ready for the crunch? This thing is so bust, like. The sauce, too. What? <laughs> yummy. So yummy. <laughs> it is delicious. Exquisite. The finest of things. It is strapped for lunch. Probably a good sound, Shamar. <laughs> I know that been a good sound. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Right now we're eating the Thanksgiving dinner thingy, plus my um my lumpias from Santos, and this is the turkey. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Just need a little salt. Need a little salt. And that's all for this edition of the Real TV After Show. We'll see you back here next time.
Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. What? Oh, the thing's playing. Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. Let me stop. <laughs>